So how's your morning going? I tell you, Jordan is incredible. He wakes me up at about four o'clock every morning. See, he doesn't pay attention to daylight saving. So it used to be five, now it's four. And what he'll do is he'll lick me on my face, but you know, I'm grateful for that. Today is a day of gratitude. It reminds me of my dad. But most importantly, I want to be grateful for my Heavenly Father. I'm grateful for my family. I love my wife, my fourth grade sweetheart. I love my friends. I love the team that I work with. I love the colleagues that I am able to rub shoulders with. I love to teach. I appreciate all the attendees that come to my classes and all of those that are on my online site from all over the world. There's a lot to be grateful for. But back to my dad. You know, he taught me how to think in the morning. He says, when you get up in the morning, you start the day with an attitude of gratitude. And it's amazing because not every morning you feel like that. Of course, Jordan helps me with that. Even when I don't want to get up, with that look on the face, it gets those dopamines, that oxytocin going in the brain, good brain chemistry. And as a result, you have a better day and you choose to have a good day. Happiness is a choice. Gratitude is a choice. And when that happens, the emotions in your head kind of follow that outcome and you look at life differently. So how you think is how you define your world. What my dad taught me early in life is attitude of gratitude in the morning. Think of the five things you're really grateful for and you concentrate on those things. And when I take Jordan on a walk, that's what I'm thinking about. The early mornings with Jordan walking. It's also been a great thing with Jordan because I've had him about a year and a half now, and yeah, I know I, I handle my weight really well, at least when, with my garments on. But since I've had Jordan, I've lost about 20 pounds. And it's reported to me that I don't snore quite the way I used to. In fact, I snore a lot less, if hardly at all. My dreaming's great, and I don't fight that sleep apnea stuff. So I'm really grateful for Jordan and his licks in the morning because when I get up early like that, I take a walk and it's really good. But today's a day of gratitude. Yes, an attitude of gratitude for life. How about the hiccups of life? Can we be grateful for them? They usually are a focus for us that we need to pay more attention to things. I always tell people in my classes, if you want to be exceptional, you have to put a, an exceptional effort into what you do. That's how you have a better life. You have to make a mental choice to do that. When you see a mountain coming, whether it's chosen or not chosen, it's how you climb that mountain that determines your joy when you get to the top. And that's how you improve and that's how you become a better person in life. That's part of living, you can't get away from it. So take it on, give me a take on attitude. And that's the attitude of gratitude. I'm grateful for my dad for that because he showed me the way early in life and it's a mental discipline you have to do. So I wish you all to have a great day. Thanks for being part of this online community. I really look forward to the next year. Take care.